So I cannot press F then to go through the things apparently, to through this uh, sequence of things happening. So uh, the other class asks about friendship. So I'm going to uh, give you a very quick example on this. So we have a, we, ha we created this string uh, header file to deal with strings, and that's the string we created last time together over here. Um, imagine that we do, do not have the display over here set. Let's say we don't have a display function that displays the, the class. So therefore, in this string, I'm not going to have a display for the class. Where is the display? There you go. So I'll comment this. So I do not have a display. If I do not have a display, how can I make the insertion operator overload work without having a display? Because in here, we actually use the display to, dis to display the object. What I can do is do exactly what the display was doing. Do exactly what display was doing. Okay, I'll just copy it and put it in the display. Okay, which is essentially uh, checking to see if the thing exists. So in here, instead of this, I have to put S. But in here, I cannot print S.M data because it's private. Correct? So what I do, I'll take this thing over here, which actually is this one, because we need SD. So I'm going to take this, put it inside the class's, the script, the class's uh, body, and in here I'm going to say friend, which means now this function, we know this, is, this operator overload is nothing but a helper function, right? This function has full access to all the properties of screen. So when you make a function a friend of a class, it will have full access to all the properties of the class without being its member. And now if you look at it, there is no error and it actually works. And if I compile and run it, it will actually... Uh, execute and run perfectly, exactly as what we did before. So, oh, builder is, what is the builder? Oh, debug.h, I brought, forgot to bring it. But anyways, trust me, it works. I'm just going to bring that one, add existing item. Copy. Paste. And add. Okay. So, we'll recompile and run again. compiles, and as you see, hopefully, when it runs, sit here, print your name, and it works, right? So the display and everything is actually work. Um, so what's wrong with it? It worked, right? So what are friends for? What are friends for? Yeah. Helping each other? What else? Pass? <laughs> she says, pass to the question of what are friends for? Uh, <laughs> so, so, friends are for helping each other, giving you a ride to the airport. I don't know, lending you some money when you need it. Ask for money when they need it, so you give it to them. So good friends are like people that help us in lives, right? Sometimes they're better than relatives, seriously. Like I have friends that are, they are closer than my brother to me. We've we, we, we known each other since, I don't know, um, I, count, like for, I know the guy for seven years old, so 50 years we know each other. That's a long time. Just imagine. Now, I want you to imagine this, and I want you to listen to me carefully on this. This friend that I've been friends with for 50 years, okay? Let's say when my father passed away, he gave me this medallion. Gold medallion, he didn't. Just making up story. Gold medallion that has sentimental meaning for me. It's priceless for me, and I... 
Now I'll go for a trip and I have some plants at home. So I give the key of the house to my friend and I say, please water the plants when I'm not home. And everything's good. He comes and, and all the flowers and, and plants are perfectly good. And I get the key back. He's gone. And I go and I see the medallion is gone. That precious thing that was priceless for me is lost. Who's the thief? My 50-year-old friend? That's immediately what happens. It's very possible it's just misplaced it, right? But immediately, that 50 years of friendship, the person that I trust more than my brother becomes this nemesis that I hate because he obviously stole my father's medallion. So, and that's the best case scenario, <laughs> okay? Even if, like, even, like, you cannot... You cannot uh, quit the friendship, but for the rest of your life, you're not, not going to trust that guy anymore. So, you know what friendship is in object orientation? Knife in the back. Whenever, see you, whenever you see a keyword friend in a class, it means somebody was lazy. Instead of creating a, 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 an accessor function, something that actually can, contr with control, it can give access. If I have displayed, that display's job is to only access the parts that are supposed to be displayed in a proper way. So my function, my helper function, will use that public method and do whatever is needed and everything is displayed with security and everything's gone. Nice. But if something goes wrong with your class, the very first thing you suspect is that friend function. Did they change something in there in my class that is not making the class work properly? Did they change the length? Did they do this? Did they... So many things come to your mind. And that's a bad, bad thing. So what why do we have friends in C? Now, this part of my thing is a bit graphic. <laughs> it's uh, uh, people are going to get like, offended or something. Anybody over here have pets? Dog or something? You do? Beautiful. You love your dog, right? I love my dog. My dog is like, seriously, he's like, I, I cannot tell you how much I love that creature. It's amazing for me. Like, seriously, I'm telling you. But tomorrow I can take my dog to the vet and ask them to put her down. Can't I? Legally, I can do that. I can take my dog, the one that I love, to the vet and ask them to put it down. Is that friendship? That's ownership. So there is no friendship between you and your pet. You call it friendship to just sugarcoat it. You are the owner. You have full authority on that thing that you are friend of. Do we understand this? That C++ is friendship. You only use friendship when you want to apply ownership. I don't know why they call it a friend. Probably the guy was like, why don't you just make a joke or something. They should have actually created something called owner because that's essentially what it is. Anything becomes a friend of a class owns that class. Why do we, what do we use friend? Friends with, like having functions being a friend, for me is a disaster. Like you would never see in any of my code I have ever had any friend implemented. Unless for examples that I did right now. Or if we, in a workshop, we ask you to make a function a friend, be advised. It's an awful thing to do. We are just teaching you to see how, what is the syntax so you can make fun of the person who did it in reality, okay? So, so that's it. So when do we use fr friends? Friends are usually good for class relationship. You make one class friend of another class. Why? To make one class own another class. Let's say I want to create Let's say I I'm going to give you an example that we all know. Arrays. Let's say I want to create a class that simulates an array. 
because I'm fed up with integer arrays and all the arrays that we have. When you think about it, an array is a collection of its elements, correct? And an element cannot exist without an array. It doesn't make sense. This is an element. Element of what? An element should belong to an array, correct? So what you do, you create a class called element. You make the element fully private. So the, even the constructors of friend, of, uh, of, of element, is private, which means no one can instantiate an element. Then you make the array class friend of element, which means only array has full access to element. Therefore, only array can instantiate an element. And an array becomes an owner of an element. It can add elements to itself. It can destroy its own elements. It has full access to it. That's what friends are for, ownership. We never use friends to give access. That's an awful security hole in your class. Don't use it. Are you okay with this? That's the question they had, and I just did it. Uh, any questions on this? I want to stop the recording and test it to see if it's okay. Are we good? Are we okay? One, two. So the syntax is that whatever function you have, you want the function to have full access to a class. You bring the definition of function inside and you make it a friend. And then you can use whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm not going to, I don't even know if I'm going to, Oh, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to leave it over here. So it's very bad. Never do this. Very bad. Never do this. I think that, that's, that's a strong enough message. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to stop the recording.